Good evening, friends. Here are some quotations from Siddha Rameshwar Maharaj. The first one is, Perform your worldly affairs, but utilize those for gaining knowledge. Knowledge with a capital K, that is. So simple. Perform your worldly affairs, but utilize those for gaining knowledge. You see, these were men of the world. This lineage, whether it was Siddha Rameshwar Maharaj, Nisargadatta Maharaj, Ramesh Balsekar, they were householder gurus. They had occupations. So they were very pragmatic, practical and down to earth. And what Siddha Rameshwar Maharaj is pointing to is something so simple yet many of us are unable to practice this. Utilize your worldly affairs for gaining knowledge. Whether you are at work, in your relationships, in the situations you face, are you seeing them through the light of knowledge? Is the awareness there? For example, if you are at work and when you are dealing with your colleagues or your boss or your juniors or your clients or your suppliers, is there a complete acceptance that everyone is an instrument through whom God's will functions? That is how the affair of working has to be utilized for gaining knowledge. What is beyond these appearances? What is real, really lying underneath these relationships that binds them to us. That is the exploration. That is what Siddha Rameshwar Ji is encouraging us to do. That becomes our spiritual practice. Our daily living becomes a spiritual sadhana. So beautiful and so simple. The next one, to become wise, misery has been kept before us in this world. Therefore, at this very moment, awaken. Awaken now. You see, most of us have come on to the spiritual path thanks to difficulties, challenges, loss, pain. That is the nature, the loss perceived by the ego. So that is why misery has been kept before us. Therefore, awaken. Another simple pointer. And it is quite a natural process that it's the misery that brings us onto the path. There's nothing really we have to do. We just come onto the path thanks to the misery. Now the point is, how do we blossom and flower on the path? That, according to me, is a matter of grace. The grace of the Guru, the grace of the teaching, whatever you may call it. So this is again a pointer like paying attention, you could say. That is what Siddha Rameshwar Ji is pointing to. Now here is some simple advice.
even if you see some behavior that is contrary to your thinking still in your mind you should not feel that it is wrong even if someone is wicked contemptible and the lowest of the low you should understand that he is god's form the devotee who makes god's bhajana in this way will not reply with harsh words and will not hurt anybody by speech he has mercy for the one who has been hurtful this doesn't need any explanation it's as simple as that and i can see how the same stream comes down to ramesh ji when he says if nobody does anything and we accept that everyone is an instrument through which the same consciousness functions this will not happen one will not reply with harsh words will not hurt anybody by speech as such and so on so it's beautiful to see that link the next one first behave with your loved ones with the understanding that they are brahman then understand others are brahman then the enemy is brahman and finally all is truly brahman if it is understood that the entire world is brahman then when all is brahman by the same rule you also are only brahman so sweet and this last one with your mouth you say the rice is being sorted but actually with your hands the stones are picked out and once the stones have been picked out the rice does not have to be picked out in this way to select the self only the illusory objects are sorted out and when those are discarded what remains in your hands is the self that was a wonderful simile I hope you enjoyed these pointers from Siddharameshwar Maharaj as much as I did. Thank you.